Okay, the latest trend, 278 timing issues. Anybody watching this video probably knows about the shit show that lurks beneath the hood of this car when the timing is off. All right, don't mind the mess. Check out the new forklift. I bought that off Facebook for $2,600. Oh, score. Cleaned it and painted the wheels. Anyway, so let's look what we got here. So, car comes in, blah, 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 timing, check engine light, or won't pass inspection, can't fix it. The mechanics have been throwing parts at it for like a month. So now it comes to my shop. <clears throat> so, we know the timing gear is a problem, but we don't know about the camshaft. Why don't we know about the camshaft? I'll tell you why. Because at first, we've been through this. And, and we didn't know about the markings because no one's ever really looked. We just put new cams in the car to get it out. So what I'm finding now, because I said this time around, I wanted to look at the cam. And maybe you guys know this already, I don't know. I just, you know, when I get a bad cam, cam and gear in it, out the door it goes. So if you look close, is that where the V's, in the V's, there are these little black lines. I know it's gonna be a shit show term, there you go. See the top one? Okay, there's a little black line in that V, and then there's a little black line in that V. They are no longer lined up. So with that said, technically the camshaft's no good. However, I think it's absurd, like, like plastic timing gears, you know? Why does Mercedes do this? It's just pressed on like that? Really? Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm making a tool that fits over this that notch fits all the notches and I'm gonna set a, a jig up where I affix this in a vise and I'm gonna make the adjustment to line this back up and then I'm gonna have it welded. Well, we're gonna weld it. I just, that's my concern. Like my guy who does my welding, I mean, I weld, but not like this guy. And uh, he says uh, it might be an issue, but we're gonna try and fix all these camshafts so we don't have to throw them in the garbage and spend 950 list on a new one. So if anybody, 278 camshafts, how to tell if they're bad, look for those two little lines. And if they're not lined up with one another, you got junk. I don't know, you could try just twisting it back in place and hope for the best, but if it came out once, I'm sure it'll come out again. But just another bad idea by Mercedes. The best car in the world. I'll be the first to tell you that, but they do do some stupid crap sometimes, and this year is one of them.